Hey everyone, it's Val. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a project that I am so excited to get done. I've been wanting to do this for the past, I don't know, two weeks. Today we are doing DIY balloons. You're probably wondering, how do I thought to have the mess up without calling someone to come and sell it for me for over a hundred bucks? I'm gonna put you on games. Though. These are called peel and stick tiles, literally in the name. One, this project will most likely cost you under a hundred bucks. Two, it's easier to do on yourself without having any help. Three, it is a beautiful accent to put in your room if you're thinking about switching up your room. If you are wondering how to get these peel and stick tiles, all you have to do is go on Home Depot's website, click on the search bar, type in peel and stick tiles, and you'll see endless options. They have marble, full wood, different patterns, and just different accents you can add to your room. They're super inexpensive and they're just great. And this is not a sponsored video. If you guys want to see how I went from this to this, then continue watching. I recommend that you guys place all the tiles on the floor with the paper still on it so you guys can see how it looks in all the corners and spaces in the room before you actually decide to remove the paper and stick it onto the floor. This part is completely optional, but I decided to get a hammer so I can make sure the towel was secure. But another alternative is your hand. I promise it's not that serious. And yes, we will be coming back to that corner later on in the video. This is the part where you need a box cutter for different corners in your room that the full towel doesn't necessarily fit. So all you have to do is get a ruler. In my case, I used a towel, but I would best recommend using the ruler. You get it to the perfect size that you need and you use the box cutter to cut it and boom, you got it. As you can see the tile was just not fitting into that corner so I started getting frustrated and I started punching on the tile then I got the hammer and then I was like okay maybe the hammer is not a good idea either so I came to my senses and I got a box cutter moral of the story you guys use a box cutter I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it and bringing you guys along this process with me. Um, I've been wanting to do this project for a little minute now, so I'm excited that I finally got it done and it just looks beautiful. If you guys did enjoy this type of content, let me know. If you guys want to see me film some other videos, let me know. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. Bye. Thank you.